As a restaurant owner, having a website is great because you have total control over the information that goes out there, such as store hours and menu information. Using Strikingly, you can make websites that look like these. A good website for your restaurant will first grab the attention of customers who haven't eaten your food before, and then second, it'll nudge those customers to make the jump and try it out. There are a couple of ways of doing this, but today we'll show you a way that works. So we're going to make a website for Bon Appetit, a restaurant in Switzerland. First, select a template. You can always go back and change this, so don't worry too much about it right now. We're going to choose Hello X. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to delete these pre-made sections over here in the editor. So the first section is your header. If your restaurant has a logo, it's going to go here. If not, you can add a title with your name, but we highly recommend that you get a logo. More on that in the description. Right now, I'm uploading the logo both into the title bar and into the header itself. You can also add a slogan or a headline here, but it isn't necessary. Most importantly, you're going to want a good background image. We're using an HD photo of the interior of Bon Appetit. We recommend that you use a photo of your own, but if you don't have one, you can choose one from our gallery for the time being. Next, you can add a small description of your restaurant. This part is totally optional, but we highly recommend it. In general, the more concise the description, the better. We pulled this short description from Bon Appetit's website. Now we'll include some photos of our dishes. Here I'm adding a gallery section. Having good photos is important for a restaurant. Hungry customers can't try your food just yet, so you need to sell it with clear, high-resolution photos. Remember, your website should make them want to make a reservation, or call in an order, or visit your location, or whatever. So good photos are critical. Next, a map of your location and a contact form for reservations. To add a map, add an app store and HTML section. Click here and select Google Maps. Type in your address and then hit save. It's pretty nifty, right? While we're at it, let's change this background. I'm also going to add a contact form for reservations. Add an email address that you'd want reservations to get forwarded to. You can also choose to add your map right here in the same section as your contact form. To do so, click Add Map. Hit Edit and then add your address. However, since we've already added a map section, I'm going to delete this for now. But this is a cool feature that you can take advantage of. At this point, you finished all the groundwork for your website. Now you can play around with different fonts and styles that suit your website's vibe. Right now, I'm uploading Bon Appetit's logo to create a custom color scheme so that the website's colors matches that of the logo. I'm also going to change the title font to Roboto Condensed and the heading font to Dancing Script. And that's it. Your restaurant has a website. Double check to make sure everything looks polished and hit preview to view your site across different platforms. Remember, you can always go back and change things whenever you would like. And ask yourself, if you were a customer and knew absolutely nothing about this restaurant, would this website convince you to try it out? If the answer is yes, hit publish and you're good to go.